In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous thought. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Keith Gidro. O God, who adored the priest St. Raymond with the virtue of outstanding mercy and compassion for sinners and for captives, Grant to his intercession that release from slavery to sin we may carry out in freedom of spirit while it is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. He hears us in whatever we ask. A reading from the first letter of St. John, chapter 5, verses 14 to 21. Beloved, this is the confidence that we have towards the Son of God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. If anyone sees his brother committing a sin not leading to death, he shall ask, and God will give him life to those who commit sins that do not lead to death. There is sin that leads to death. I do not say that one should pray for that. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that does not lead to death. We know that everyone who has been born of God does not keep on sinning, but he who was born of God protects him, and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we are from God, and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let science children exult in their king. Responds, The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Responds, The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory and rejoice as they take their rest. Let the praise of God be in their mouths. This is an honor for all his faithful. Response. The Lord takes delight in his people. Acclamation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The people dwelling in darkness have seen a great light, and for those dwelling in the region of and shadow of death, on them a light has dawned. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. 
praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples went into, into the Judean countryside, and he remained there with them and was baptizing. John also was baptizing at Aeon near Salim, because water was plentiful there, and people were coming and being baptized. Now a discussion arose between some of John's disciples and a Jew over purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you bore witness, look, he is baptizing, and all are going to him. John answered, A person cannot receive even one thing unless it is given him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. The one who has the bride is a bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now complete. He must increase, but I must decrease. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. Help us to live in your love this day, to do your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Raymond, so that as you brought him glory, you may to him, you may to the sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life, for you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel to the desert. Now as your church makes a pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so with angels and archangels, we too sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. And a quote from St. Catherine of Genoa today. Any time spent before the Eucharistic presence, be it long or short, is the best spent time of our lives. Let me read that again because I think it's so beautiful. Any time spent before the Eucharistic presence, be it long or short, is the best time of our, the best spent time of our lives. 
You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and win us once for his disciples and now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and confess the resurrection unto the new heaven. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our hope, Louis our bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you made your own. As we walk your ways with faith and hope, may we strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of your Christ, in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph our spouse, with the Apostles of Martyr, with Saint Raymond, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit, let's offer each other signs of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be given. 
May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed Raymond, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. For being with you, Amen. and the Almighty God bless you, Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.